Hey everybody, it is late October. It's a bit of an overcast rainy day. I had to take the day off of hunting to go chase some, hopefully chase some big brown trout. I mean, this should be a prime day. The water's still really low, but we have been getting some rain. I'm really excited to shift gears for the day. Hopefully we'll get some good footage and get a great video out there for you guys. So hope you enjoy. All right, most important step, pound the rest of your coffee. Let's do this. For now, I'm fishing this big uh, tandem streamer. I think it's called the Area 51. I've got my seven and a half foot three weight. Well, so far it's been a bust. I have not uh, moved any fish that I saw. I fished several nice holes so far. I just watched a fish chase something and splash. Looks like at least there's something in this pool. So I'm gonna set up the camera and uh, see if we can't break the skunk here, get a fish going. Really promising pool. There we go. Oh. Man, that was a good trout. He might hit again. I don't know. He caught a little piece of it though. I'm going to throw this little, uh, this nice little Princeton fin. Man, I don't know what is wrong with me today. There we go. Oh, bummer. He ate it. Darn. Oh, yeah. There's another red. Oh, there goes a nice brown. Must be spawning right here. Sweet. That was a good fish. Oh man. Oh man, that was a good one. That was a good fish. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Darn, man. All right, well, it's a few hours later and uh, I did not have much success fishing. I did have, I think three decent Browns or look like browns um, hit my streamer, but I was unable to connect. I think what I've decided is I'm actually going to switch up to my ultralight spinning rod because there's another really nice section below where I just fished. I'm pretty sure if I fish this lower stretch with the spinning rod, I, I'm going to hook up. I'd love to make a video out of this, and it's tough without even one fish other than a chub. So I'm going to uh, warm up a little and we'll hit it again. For part two. All right, well, I just fouled this dry uh, uh, ditch down. It's a little drainage. Definitely warmed me up. I was getting really cold, and that was uh, a bit of a bushwhack, so 
I am toasty. So yeah, I've got my ultralight spinning rod. I've got I'm just fishing a little um, a little Panther Martin to start out. Like I said, I'm hoping to just cover some water here and hopefully hook up with a nice fish. There's some big fish in this stretch for sure. There we go. Nice fish. There's a nice brown. All right. Nothing crazy, but a lot better than catching nothing. There you go, buddy. Take the gloves off here. go wasn't hooked too bad all right on the board it's a nice little pool there's a really big pool below here but this is not too bad itself I mean this is so easy with a spinning rod to just toss it in oh there we go nice Nice fish, another another wild brown. I don't think I need the net for this guy, but I'm gonna take my glove off. All right, just a nice little brown, little wild fish, very cool. All right, well, this is a much bigger pool so I've switched to a floating Apollo. I think the spinner is great for this short, faster water, but this is a big, slow pool, so. Yep, oh, there we go, fish. Small fish on the... Lure's almost as big as him. Little tiny brown. I don't want to grab him with this dry glove, so I'll take that off. Jeepers, buddy. A little more than you could handle here. <laughs> Alright, buddy. There you go. He's an ambitious little fella. this is my little spinner box some of these lures are pretty cool like this little Swedish pimple I don't know I bought it when I was a little kid I didn't realize it was like an ice fishing kind of jig but I've had this lure for I mean probably since I was 10 years old <laughs> I don't think I don't think I've ever caught a fish on it but I'm sure it would I just never really use it and then some of these old panther martins I don't know if this one um, but some of these older ones are, uh, I got them out of a box of my grandpa's old lures, like this old red one for sure. I don't know how old they are, but, man, they gotta be probably 50, 60 years old. So, I carry all these spinners, some rooster tails, um, a lot of panther martins, some maps, and then on the back side I, I have some more kind of bassy, bigger stuff, some stick baits crayfish patterns some spoons and then some uh some some plastics too so it's kind of my little my little spinning bag here a little spinning box there we go I knew there'd be a big fish in there. Come here, 
everybody. Oh yeah! <laughs> All right. That's what we were looking for today, guys. Ah, oh, many hours. <laughs> that happened so fast. Oh wow. What a freaking specimen. Look at this guy, he's not even thrashing. Wow. That is amazing. I am so happy. That is a big brown. I mean, he is long and healthy. I don't even know how big that fish is. Probably at least 20 inches. That's a great fish. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let this huge guy go. There he goes. All right. Woohoo! That was what I was looking for all day. I had fished that upper stretch without any uh, success and decided to try this lower stretch with the spinning gear and it paid off. I had almost given up on that hole. It's a hole that I've, I've, I don't think I've actually caught a fish out of it, but it's a real deep spot with a big log and I'd actually hooked the log. So I'd waited out, I had waited out uh, to get my lure and thought I'd probably spook the hole, but ended up making a cast into the tail and he was right at the edge of that log came out and smacked it so that was a 20 20 plus inch wild brown um really special fish and uh real quick fight got him right into the net with the uh, heavier spinning gear and uh yeah he revived super fast and was ready to go i didn't really even get any great pictures of him but i just i just wanted to get him back in the water so i got some good video though and uh i'm gonna fish my way down through a couple holes and then hop up on the road and Head back to the car. There we go. Fish on. Into the brush. Come here, buddy. <laughs> oh. You tried to escape on land, man. Another nice little wild brownie. There we go. Come on, be a brookie. I would have liked a brookie, but. All right, go get real big, dude. There we go. There's a the fish. Another little brown. I'm actually getting, catching quite a few, even though they're small. Hey buddy. All right, I finally have turned around. Um, I just got, kept getting sucked farther and farther downstream, looking for that next perfect pool. I pretty much found the perfect pool, or the biggest pool I've ever seen on this stream. And uh, I saw one fish come up in the tail, I don't know what it was doing but it looked big but I didn't even get a hit but yeah now I'm pretty far from the road so I've got a bit of a walk and uh, probably a little low on calories so I am looking forward to getting back to where I parked and getting some warm clothes on some dry clothes and uh, yeah it's been a great day really turned into a that one big fish really made the difference so if you, uh, if you enjoy this video please uh, you know give it a like throw a comment down below and uh, certainly subscribe and you know share the channel with anyone else you think might enjoy it because I really do like making these videos so but yeah thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time <laughs>